people, Boardwalk Empire has now ended. <laughs> a show I enjoyed for the last five or six years. It just ended, well, it ended a couple of weeks ago. I just watched the finale and now we're going to talk about the whole series, man, because I'm, I'm kind of conflicted. It ended in a way that left me feeling kind of, kind of empty. Uh, let's talk about it. Cairo Media. Okay, people, we're going to talk about the masterful period piece that was Boardwalk Empire, the whole series. Boardwalk Empire is a HBO series that was created by, you know, a whole bunch of very, very influential celebrity producers, actors. Mark Wahlberg, Martin Scorsese, Martin Scorsese, Scorsese, why can't I say this guy's name? <laughs> and it had big star actors like Steve Buscemi, Michael Shannon to name a few, and you know, this show was just marvellous. If you don't know the premise of Boardwalk Empire, you're just reading about this for the first time. Where have you been? Living under a rock? This has been one of the most celebrated shows in the last 10, yeah, the last 10 years, I'd say, and it's a period piece drama set about the time of prohibition in the 1930s America, set in different states, different times, focused on the gangster culture in the 1930s, based on true events, based on true characters, but I think they took a lot of license with a lot of the real things that happened. But for, I think there's a lot of, they kept a lot of the things based in reality. But you know what, it was, it was just an entertaining period piece and it was executed so goddamn well. It's funny because this was recommended to me by my co-host, fellow contributor, you want to say, and she got me into it. I really wasn't, I don't really like period pieces that much, especially set in the 1930s gangster time. Unless they're movies, TV series, is, they don't really work. But in this day and age, we make everything awesome. And HBO with Mark Wahlberg and Mark Scorsese, they made something that was so cinematic. This felt like, you know, a cinematic movie, a mini series. A mini series put so much production into stories like this. And this just came off fantastic. With HBO, it was lightning in the bottle. The actors were fantastic Steve Buscemi, Michael Shannon. The black actors, the female actresses, the sets, the set designs, the costume designs, the atmosphere, the tension. I could dick ride this whole show. But let me just be calm and say, it was such a well-written show. I cared about the characters, the things that were going on in the story. It's mostly centered around prohibition and the prohibition against alcohol and how Steve Buscemi's character, Nucky Thompson, was this gangster who kind of ruled the boardwalk and he, he used cash. Cash is king. That's one of the themes of the 1930s. You can use cash to buy politicians, to buy everything, buy a way of... There's so much corruption. But there's some great characters, some lovable characters. I mean, it's violent as hell. And a lot of it is kind of superficial. But I just... It was executed so well. It was so enjoyable. And the acting was so good. Steve Buscemi was my favourite character. He was so goddamn cool. Now, Steve Buscemi isn't the most handsome guy in Hollywood, but he is a very well-respected actor. He's worked in everything, movies, TV shows. This part, he just killed it. He absolutely killed it. One of my favourite TV characters in recent years, put him up there with, well, why, as we always have to, and all these other characters. I mean, his performance was just stellar. Michael Shannon's character as that psycho ultra-Christian, fundamentalist, cop, police officer, fantastic. The black actors, I can't remember the names right now, but that guy who had the constant scowl on his face, I think he was, was he in The Wire? I think he might have been in The Wire. But anyway, that guy, he, he was awesome. The female actresses in this show were so fantastic. And let me tell you something, there was a lot of TNA in this show, a lot of nakedness, a lot of sex, but the female actresses stood out as well. This show has had and has everything going for it. Boardwalk Empire was only five seasons. 
The first three seasons were just phenomenal. Honestly, they just topped each other. It's I, I think it's this is a 13 episode series where each season's only 13. It wasn't that long. It it just cut to the point it was so enjoyable. Now, what didn't I enjoy about Bulldog Empire? Not much. For the most part, I enjoyed it. The most the problem I have with it is more recent. The last two seasons. Season four, although it was good, still good, it ended. A lot of people didn't like the ending because it was very, very open ended, and it, it it was it was a bit of a downer, and that didn't leave a good taste in a lot of people's mouths. But it was still very good, written well, still still written well. But the last season, the season I just watched, season five, you kind of lost me a little bit, and the reason why, man, they did something that. Uh, a lot of shows do nowadays recently but they had a time skip and it was a considerable one five or six years now the thing is I heard that the show Boardwalk Empire was getting a lot of uh, much lower ratings and they wanted to wrap it up and I guess because they were sticking to true events as well I guess they didn't want to rush the last season so instead they kind of jumped ahead to the end of the story that they planned the problem with that is, this last season, although it was good, the things, when they came back after the time jump, I had to hear through dialogue all the things that had come to pass. Major characters had already died, major events had happened, people have just changed. A lot of connection that I had with the show got kind of lost when they came back after the fifth season and so much had happened. And the thing is, the ending for the show... When I think about it, when I saw it, I was kind of like, eh, it's good. In terms of writing, I like it. It's a, the, let me commend the show by saying this. It's written in a way, that last season wraps everything up. But there's a lot of character deaths. And because I missed such a core amount of years in these characters' lives, their deaths didn't weigh on me. It just didn't. It just... Peak characters were dying and so many of the characters died. I mean, it felt like nearly all the major characters died. And, you know, as it was happening, I just, I, the emotional attachment wasn't there because that time skip did the damage, didn't allow me to build, build the emotion that I was meant to have when these things happened. I cared about these characters and I cared about the story. But in this season in particular, there was a, it, there was a growing detachment because of the time gap. It was so noticeable and uh, you know what, the funny thing is, I put this in perspective. What, what would I prefer they do? Would I prefer they didn't do the time skip and they rushed through one season and just rushed it? No. I think this is the lesser of two evils. But, you know, I think the, the very end is, is good. In terms of what they wrote for the ending, it's good. But season five, to me, is, more, is basically season seven. And I really wanted to see two more seasons. I mean, my whole complaint with this real show is that I felt like it could have gone on... I could have watched more. There could have been two or three more seasons because every season is built up against the, the red last and, you know... And it ends... Like I said, it didn't end badly, but it ended in a way where I'm like... You ended on... you. The ending had such a dramatic ending, but it didn't have the, the build-up behind it for me to care. I was kind of like... Oh, okay. Well, that's the end. But you know what, saying that at least, at least it ended. The end, it wrapped up really well. But it's just a shame because now I look back on Bulldog Empire and it just feels unfinished. It's finished in what they, the story, but it just felt like that last run. You know, I'm going to use an, an analogy. It's like going to, just imagine you go to this amusement park every year for five years. Then you hear it's only open for one more year. And then when you go to the amusement park on that last year, it's only open for one hour when you usually spend, you know, a whole day there. So, you, you know, you're enjoying that last hour, but you're like, it's just so abrupt and so, you know. Anyway, honestly, that doesn't affect the show on a whole. Boardwalk Empire is still a first class show. It's a great period piece, phenomenal acting, great actors. It has the whole package. I just think it, it could have been an absolute masterpiece of cinema, of TV. 
and it could have elevated. It, you know, it's it's one of those shows that has elevated TV to a whole new a whole new level. Anyway, just to to showcase how far we've come with TV, but unfortunately, it didn't reach its full potential just because it got cut short. And and but you know, they did their best with it, and I appreciate that. And I don't want to take any way anything away from the show, but I do have to voice my little complaint, concern, criticism, if you want to call it. But I, honestly, the show was near perfection. But unfortunately, that's real life. Ratings had an effect on the show's production or what needed to happen. At least it ended. At least it wasn't like one of these other shows that just either rushed, ended, or just didn't end and left on a cliffhanger. But they did a good enough job. So, like I said, Boardwalk Empire, first class. Glad to watch it. One of the best period piece TV dramas out there. Just feels so cinematic. If you haven't seen Boardwalk Empire, go and watch it. It was definitely one of the best TV shows released in the last decade. And that's all I have to say, man. Boardwalk Empire, great. So anyway, that's my thoughts on Boardwalk Empire, people. Thanks for watching, as usual, here on Tower Media. I love to get you guys into action. Leave a comment down below and let me know what you think of Boardwalk Empire. Do you agree with me? Do you think the last season just kind of left you with a kind of emptiness? Or do you just feel like you was happy with what happened and you don't really care, and it was all good, and I'm just being a nitpicky bastard like I always be in. Let me know. So anyway, people, that's me for Tyro Media. Like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you on the next one. Take care, everybody. Peace out.